Hi and welcome to the instruction to the new application system SurveyMonkey Apply. In this short video we will guide you through the application form for phase 1. Once you have clicked on the link in our website, you will be directed to the SurveyMonkey Apply site where you will be asked to register for an account. It's worth mentioning that the form may view differently depending on your browser. If you have any issues, please try an alternative browser as the system is compatible with all major browsers. After the registration is complete, you will be able to choose one of the two modalities, Window 1 or Window 2. As I've already started on an application form, instead of clicking on Apply, I will instead click on Two Applications. Here's an overview of the application form, and here you can see the list of tasks that needs to be completed before you can submit the application. Before I show you this specific task, I want to go through some general information. You have the option of inviting collaborators if you would like to allow a team member to have access to edit the form. But please note that only the applicant can fill out the last two tasks, which relates to the endorsements. I will get to that a bit later. If you do come across any issues or have questions, you can click on the I button in the top right corner and you are of course also welcome to call us. When you fill out each task, you don't have to save the form as the system automatically saves it. It is also possible to switch between the task and go back and edit and update the information whenever it's convenient for you. In each task, we link to the call text and you may also find it helpful to go through the task specific guidelines. And now I'll guide you through the tasks. In this first task, besides the basic information, you must also upload the CV of the project coordinator. Once all the fields are filled out, you click on Mark as complete. If any information is missing, you will get a notification and it will be highlighted where the information is missing or incorrect. You correct the error and scroll down and now you're able to mark as complete. And you can see how the icon to the left turns green. I won't go into details about the next two tasks, project details and budget frame. However, I will highlight the project participants task, where you must list at least one researcher from each partner institution or project participant if it's a private sector partner. You choose the number of project participants and for each, you must upload a CV. If it's a private sector company, you must include the company profile in their CV file. In previous years, it has been a requirement to submit signature pages, but in SurveyMonkey Apply, this is slightly different. In this next task, the project coordinator must send a request for endorsement to the head of institution. As you may notice, it says recommendation, but please disregard any mentioning of a recommendation. This task relates only to the endorsement by the head of institution. Once you have filled out the details, the head of institution will receive a notification by email. As you can see, the request has now been successfully sent to the head of institution. I will now act as the head of institution to give you an idea how the endorsement works. Please note that it will be the same for phase two, where the endorsements are mandatory for each project participant. As the head of institutions, I received this email and before I can get access to the application, I need to register and create a SurveyMonkey Apply account. I'm then directed to this page and I can now preview the application. Afterwards, the head of institution needs to either decline or accept the request. Once I click on accept, there's a short statement to read through. I then check the box. And click on submit. The applicant will also be informed that the endorsement has been completed via email and within the application form, the status has changed to received. Now we're almost ready to submit the application just the final task to complete. As the project coordinator, this will be your endorsement of the project proposal. And once you have checked the box, you click on Mark as complete. The submit button turns green and you can now submit the application. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful. 
If you have any questions, please contact us at research at dfcenter.dk.